Hey, guess what? Apparently, if you're having a 45 hour break for your weekly rest, and then you stick your card in on about 44 hours and 50 something minutes, and then sit there and wait, whilst it ticks over to 45, apparently, that doesn't count as a weekly rest. Well, not a full one, at least anyway. Guess who got an infringement for two reduced weekly rests in a row? Yeah, Muggins here. Good evening. Oh, let's get that engine warm. Uh, drive. Yeah, it's very, very funny piano key arrangement on the IV kit. But we're off. We're underway. Night trunking. So it's not going to be a particularly exciting night, but it's yet another company that I haven't worked before. So. Uh, what will this be now, I think? Eighth or ninth different company I've worked for in three months. Double decking. Although it's the slack period between uh, Christmas and New Year. Uh, so there isn't a huge amount to, to do. I had, uh, was it two thirds of the top deck was full last night and it'll probably be about the same again tonight. But anyway, Iveco Stralis. First time I've ever driven one of these. And I must say, it's not terrible. It's not, it's, um, not as bad as um, it's made out to be. I think it's generally it's considered to be the bottom rung of the, uh, the pecking order. When it comes to all the truck manufacturers, I mean, you've got your Volvo and your Scania up at the top. Sure, we don't clip that roundabout. Um, what's next? Like your, your man, your Mercedes, your DAF, they're sort of second in line and sort of down towards the bottom. You've got Renault, and then at the very bottom, you've got Iveco. And I've driven all of those at least once. Um, I, know, I don't think there's any other truck manufacturers, is there? So yeah, it's, it doesn't drive too bad, it's 430 horsepower, 4x2 unit, pulls nice, goes well. The one thing that I cannot find is any controls to adjust the mirrors. And I've hunted high and low, but I just can't see anything anywhere. So I don't know if you have to manually operate them, it would be strange. Yeah, you've got this like piano key arrangement here for your, your gears. Drive neutral, reverse. Sunroof, night heater, lights, mirrors. Lights, fog lights. An SL button, I've no idea what that does, I haven't pushed it. A fairly decent trip computer. It's got what my ad blue is, the air pressure. And then if I cycle through the menus, it's in how much fuel I'm using, a blank one for some reason. Oil temperature, oil pressure, up near six bar at the minute because the engine's cold. And you've got your usual taco coolant temperature, fuel gauge, speedo, radio up here, taco up there. Yeah, drives not, uh, not too badly. But uh, first port of call, I've just picked up stuff from that depot there, which is where this truck's based. I'm now driving north uh, to another depot, pick up some more gear from them, and then the more pressing port of call is to get some fuel, because I've got just over a quarter of a tank 
of diesel and only half a tank have had blue. And the problem is, that's a BP garage, and yeah, BP and Shell are probably the two biggest names that you can get fuel cards for. And they've got a Shell fuel card. As you saw there, there's a BP garage. BP at that services over there. BP services with a Shell garage, but no trucks allowed. BP takes trucks. Shell doesn't take trucks. You can park around the outside, but you can't actually get into the fuel pumps. BP and more BP. BP. Uh, so yeah, there's not really any shell garages here and I actually spent two hours last night sort of googling where um, shell garages are and where AdBlue pumps are and I've eventually managed to find one near Coles Hill that uh, is on a main road and is high enough to accept a double deck underneath the roof and there's no low bridges. So I think I should be alright for getting fuel tonight. I do find the brakes on this are a bit spongy. So you push the brake pedal, you push the brake pedal, keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, we're eventually we're starting to slow down now. Keep pushing. It's nearing the floor now. Oh, finally we're stopping. Hooray. Yeah. I think that's the only gripe really I have from the Iveco. Um, well, that and I can't find any controls to adjust the mirrors, unless I just haven't found them yet. But apart from that, all seems to be good. Not a bad truck make. Spongy brakes, stop us. Sometime today, blues, there we go. Yeah, I think we've got an intro there. Crack on up the road to the next depot. Then collect some more gear and then head off to the main sorting hub. Easy as. Side reverse. Oh, there's a few cages to pick up tonight. But yeah, how's the camera? Because I, uh, I turned on the, the what's it, the image stabilisation thing to uh, see if that helped make it less wobbly. Although I was thinking of changing cameras completely. I've seen a review of the. Uh, GoPro 6 and the image stabilization on it is really good. And this window will not roll down anymore. It's so annoying. Ooh, it moved slightly. Come on. Keep going. Come on. See, so yeah, what I might do next year? Oh, a little bit more. There we go. What I might do next year, get a GoPro 6 and a head cam thing. Because those head cam things for the GoPros seem a lot to more secure and stable on your head as well. Plus the fact that it would get rid of my head out of half of the frame as well, so you could see more.
down in the yard, nice and easy. Where are you off to? Get back. Somewhere around there will do, neutral. Do the window up, drop the suspension. Lights off. Then crack the curtain open. Easy as that. So that's two depots worth of goods. As you can see, not much. First of all, book in. Depot 36 uh, 210, yeah. Well, I'll add that back up here. Yeah, okay. So, in we go. Gotta have your hazards flashing when you're driving around here. As you saw earlier, I was quite happily walking around, climbing in the back. Uh, walking around more than happily, but now here, you're not allowed out of your truck, only in certain places which is where I'm just making my way to first and then once you do get out of your truck you have to wear a hard hat so first of all you need to go to the staging area which is at the back here a nice quiet area and open both of the curtains and once both curtains are open drive through the yard with both the curtains open and the load unrestrained to the unloading area 